I'm Nancy Franklin. I'm a professor in the psychology department, and I study memory. Memory is required for everything we consider to be intelligent. If you use a pen, you need to pick out the pen from other things in the room. You need to know how to move your hands to pick it up. You need to know what it's used for. If you understand what I'm saying right now, uh, you need to have a memory for what the words mean and for complex rules of grammar. And if you meet me for coffee later on, you need to be able to pick me out from the crowd. You need to remember where we said we'd meet. You need to know the rules of social interaction, and you need to know what it means to go out for coffee. It's amazing how much we can store in our brains, in our memories, and it's amazing how fast we can access any piece of it that we're looking for. Uh, artificial intelligence programs have tried hard to emulate what we do without effort, and a lot of the time they just can't come close. But it's actually not enough to have a lot of content stored in memory. You also need to be able to assess the reliability of a memory so that you know whether you should use it. So for example, if you remember flapping your arms and flying away, uh, you may have that memory, but it may have come from a dream. And it's important for you to be able to tell the difference between real memories and memories that come from fantasy or imagination or dreams so that you don't jump off the roof of a building believing that you can fly. Um, you may have a memory of having been molested as a child, and that actually may be a real memory. But it also, alternatively, may be a memory that was induced in a therapy session by your psychologist. And again, it's important for you to be able to have the sophisticated memory that can tell the difference. Uh, you may have been a witness to a crime, and you have a memory of having seen a particular face. It's important for you to be able to tell the difference between having seen the face at the scene of the crime versus in a mugshot book that you flip through later on. In order to successfully make it through life, we need to have a sophisticated memory system, one that consists not just of a lot of content, but also one that has powerful decision-making uh, mechanisms for deciding whether a memory is reliable. And what we study in my lab is the mechanisms and the cues that memory uses to be able to make that decision. What's amazing is that, for the most part, people are spectacular at making that distinction. Uh, sometimes we fall prey to memory illusions, and what we study in the lab is how those sorts of illusions can arise and what we can do to help people prevent it from happening.